back in action. Log six. This one is a special episode, though. Um, right now, I'm a little late, but I'm headed to a boxing match. Coach King is already there. Um, some of the team is there. Some of the fellas are there. We're going to go support our guy, Neil. I think it's his birthday today, too. So we're going to go pull up on Neil. Neil is one of our, like, day one. Neil has been with us since early, early, early on in Hoop Mountain, Dubai. Um, Neil and his family have been great. And so Neil, you know, this might be like year three or four with us. And so he's grown a lot as a young man. Um, and that, I like to think that we had something to do with that. Um, but now he's found his passion, which is boxing. And so that's taken away from basketball a little bit. But he picked up on the lessons Coach King gave him. And we know that this is something he's passionate about, like extremely. Um, and he's working on. And when he was with us, he was at everything. He was committed. And so for him to say, hey, coach, like, this is this is my thing. He's like, this is what we wanted to see. We say, you know, basketball could do a lot more for you than just make you a better player on the court. And so now we're going in. I'm a little bit late, but we're going in. We're going to say, say what's up, try to get some footage of our guy. Hopefully I get there before it's over. He might knock him out in the first round or two, but this is it, HMD. Family vibes. I've already talked to him. I told him I want no Ryan Garcia in it. I need Tank Davis. I need Shakur Stevens. I need Troy Isley. I need him to come out looking like he's ready to go. So let's see it. Let's see if he's there. He locked in. Here we go. Let's go, Sam. Yes, sir.
you sneaking up behind me? No, I'm trying to I thought you were trying to hit me from the back or something. I, I don't trust you. Is, you can't. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've had them too. I how, but how are you going to come to practice and you eat sushi beforehand? I didn't eat lunch. Not before the rest of What time? <laughs> practice is at 3. Like, like, for an athlete on game day or practice day, you shouldn't have sushi anyway. That's, that just doesn't, doesn't, sushi and sports activities don't go together. They don't. Like don't settle in your stomach. That's why she's about to vomit now. Go ahead. Baseline. Let's go. Yeah, the one thing we're not going to do, for those of you that show up, you're not going to quit on yourselves. You're not going to quit on each other. You're definitely not going to quit on my watch. All right? The game, Think about the games that we've lost. You look at the score Without watching the game, you say, man, one team was so much better than the other team. No, that's not the case. The case is the other team, they always are together. They're always together. They're always practicing together. They're training together. And they work hard for each other. Right? They're in better shape. They follow directions. That's it, the little things. How many layups do you think we've missed this year? A million. Think about whenever we go into our gimmick defenses. And I say they're gimmick defenses because their defense is designed to kind of like mess up the game a little bit, all right? Cause havoc, force the other team to wear down and have turnovers. So we've been in certain defenses where we create steals and turnovers, right? And we go and miss the layup. Now you think about it. Me and Sarah, we're in a trap over here. Give me the ball, Sarah. We steal the ball. We steal the ball. We worked hard to get the ball. We go here, wide open, and miss the layup. What happens nine out of ten times when you miss a wide open layup? And they score almost every time. I can't explain it, but it happens almost every time. So you have to make these, but we, but we don't because we're either too fatigued, mentally or physically, or we're just not into the game, or we're nervous. No one should be nervous anymore because you've played enough games, okay? You shouldn't be fatigued because you practice twice a week plus this, so that's three, all right? And then you should be doing some things on your own, and most of you guys do participate in other stuff. So you should be in shape. So it's up here. Everything that's wrong in a game with us is up here. Everything. Everything. So we got to get out of that. And so I don't care if it's five people here today or two people. We have to work extremely hard and don't quit. Exhaust yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. You guys got that? Everybody over here. Starting with you, Ava. You're going from this corner to the corner of half court there with your left hand. You get there, you dribble down the half court line with your left hand. You dribble there, all the way across to this corner here with your left hand, and then back here. Go, go. She gets to that corner, go. Let's go, left hand. Let's go, dribble with your head up so you don't run it. All the way to the corner. We don't cut corners here. Good turn, and cut left hand, let's go. Don't stop your dribble. Even if you're stationary and you're waiting on somebody, keep your dribble going. You get six to eight more points a game if, if you work on your left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, freeze. Now, everybody line up at half court.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Basketball's down. Get a quick drink. <laughs> There's some weird creatures on this earth. Huh? Look, I already got three bullseyes. No, you didn't. You just put that there. No, I didn't. Show no, me. She actually did. She actually did. Show me right now. No, but I can't because. No, no, no. I'll remove them. I'll remove them. No, she did. No, she did. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wait, hold on. Does, does your mom know she's throwing against the wall? But they're not real guys. Okay, I'm just making sure because. Okay, go ahead. You wanted my undivided attention for that? Sana, what are you doing? See, I knew it. I, yeah, see, you guys tried to pull a fast one on me. That, there's no way. Let me see what you got, Julia. Okay. 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 Mm, give me some. That's what I'm talking about. I'm good, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so listen, um, real quick before I get out of here, I, we wanted to do this for you guys because we thought you deserved it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not always about the wins and losses. It's about your effort. Most of you guys come to practice all the time, and no matter the numbers that we have, you work hard. Okay, so this is an opportunity for us, one, to just get away from basketball for a moment. You just had a tough practice, okay, and just have some fun. But more importantly, you guys need to have that fun together outside of Hoop Mountain. You understand that? Because most good teams, they're good teammates when they're with each other, but they're also friends outside of basketball. So you guys know how that works. So we're hoping that this is the beginning of us turning our season around. Like I said, not about wins and losses because honestly speaking, we are the youngest group in there in terms of the girls team, okay? So we're 16 U, so we have a lot of growth ahead of us, okay? So we want to keep building on this, but this is how we start right here. Small beginnings, okay? Small beginnings lead to great things later, okay? So this is how, we, this is how we're going to go, okay? So from now on, you guys make sure, give me some, have each other's back. You guys are sisters. You guys got that, right? Oh my God. All right? All right, you too, Squirt. All right, so you guys make sure you thank um, Tara's mom and dad for hosting this event, you know, and, and watching you guys, because I'm sure they're going to be closer to the heart attacks later tonight, dealing with you. But you make sure you thank them, okay? And thank you so much. Oh, you meant my cookies, man. Give me some before I go. I can't believe you, Oliver. <laughs> the end. You never stop with the fundamentals of basketball. All right. How many hands do we use to catch the ball with? Two. And when we catch it in traffic, do we keep it low or get it high? Get it high. If anybody gets a steal, we turn and look first. If we don't have the ball and we're in transition, where do we run? Down the middle or run wide? Run wide. Simple stuff. We take the ball out of bounds. What pass do we make first? Overhead. Because we're passing over the top. If their hands are high, then we pass low. It's always the fundamentals. Always the fundamentals, all right? Doing the right thing. Great job tonight, guys. Let's go team on three. One, two, three. Is it on? Subscribe to Hoop Mountain Dubai. 100% best YouTube channel in the world. Subscribe.